Hello everybody, so we're going to be doing a VR chat avatar into a VRM avatar to be able to use it in a bunch of VRM programs which is what streamers like I do and VTubers like what I'm doing right now can use for streaming or making videos like this one. Let's get started on making this into a VRM which is what most programs use. Okay, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is import this package. Now, all you have to do is drag it in. And then it's going to import all these files. This is basically your VRChat SDK, but this would be your VRAM SDK. Now, I didn't bother importing the shaders for this model. It's mostly using the standard shaders because you cannot use Pyomi shader. You cannot use most of the other shaders. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't really tested like Tune shader. Maybe you can use that one. Um, but for the others, you're gonna have to select all your materials. So click from one side, shift click. Uh, that is not a material, that's a picture. VRM, Mtune, or Mtune cutout if you need to have blacks cut out. So we're gonna have this. Um, Okay. <clears throat> eyes, 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 where eyes? Alright, just found the eyes. And now <clears throat> I'm just gonna put this and cut out. It's gonna cut out all the extra blacks. Okay, so we got our model. You can uh this is fairly simple the shader. You got your emission, if you want your emissions, like the hair emission. You got your rim lighting, outline. So it has a good uh, few things as matte cap as well for the reflection things. But yeah, fairly simple and easy shader. Shader is also not, not bad looking, so you can even use this for VR chat if you want it. Very simple shader. Now, you want this avatar obviously to be in humanoid on the rig. And when you have all of that done, of course you don't want all your VR chat, delete all your dynamic bones as well, because we're going to be using the VRM bones, bone physics. So what you can do is export you need the author name, so just write your name or whatever, doesn't matter. <laughs> and click export. Um, I'm just gonna quickly skip forward and I found my folder. <laughs> okay, now we're just gonna make a new folder. Name it VRM model and save it here. This is going to convert our model to a VRAM. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Alright, quick cut and now the model is exported. So we're going to hide our normal FBX model that we got from Blender or whatever so we got our VR model okay now we're gonna set up the facial expressions and the physics so first thing we're gonna do is facial expressions so things like this <clears throat> all these facial expressions you're gonna be doing now to get that we go here and 
this is what we're going to be changing now. Neutral is going to stay neutral. You can see the little window. This is the window that it's going to actually change. Oh. Let me just make the window a little bit bigger so you guys can see better. Okay, now. A. These are going to be your vowels, your how your mouth moves. It's fairly straightforward. If you have the VRC, um, Y seams, you can just do it as you do with VR chat models. And a quick forward. <laughs> now that we have our vowels done, we go blink. This would be your blinking, as you see I'm blinking right now. You just go to whatever blink, you can do a happy blink, or whatever, that's going to be your blink animation, which is automatic when you blink in real life. <coughs> uh, your avatar is going to blink. Joy, now the, you don't have to copy the the names you can do whatever face you want you get four faces now and we're just gonna do whatever face you guys want uh, I'm just gonna do joy let's see uh, cheerful and maybe mm, Let's see, this mouth, joyful face, there we go, and then you, you can do the rest, look up, down, left, right, um, you don't exactly need this, you don't really need blink left and blink right, uh, for some programs you may need this, but for most of your own programs, you don't need to look left, right, and all of those. But for the sake, we're just gonna do it because if I blink one eye, they both close for some reason. <clears throat> but yeah, sometimes if I do lose tracking, one eye closes. We're just gonna do. I think that's right. No, that's left. Just gonna skip forward. Okay, now we got our blinks. So that's all the expressions set up. You can only do animations with the um, key shapes. So if you want gun animation, you'll have to do a key shape out of it in Blender. If you guys want me to show you, I could do a tutorial on that. But anyway, um, next is going to be our physics. Secondary. Now, here's going to be our uh, spring bone. That's basically dynamic bone. If <laughs> you go with VR chat language. Uh, so this is basically your dynamic bone. Um, root bone is going to be all the roots. So unlike dynamic bone where you just only have one root, this one you can put in as many as you want and, it, and this spring bone is going to control all of the bones you attach here. So let's just do the hair. For example, we don't need no chest physics. <laughs> well, I mean, you could do chest physics if you want. Just do another spring bone. Uh, for like the chest, for example, if you wanted. But yeah, um, just gonna add all of these. Gonna click forward. Ah, 
Alright, I believe that's all the bones. That's a lot of bones. <laughs> I'll see. Um, <clears throat> VR chat avatars do have a lot of bones, so I would suggest going something like a ponytail, which has a lot less bones uh, than having a bunch of strands of hair, just to save performance because. I'll say this avatar would be really heavy on your PC. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would suggest as well. Okay, now. Uh, we can just press play. Now. And we can move our avatar around. Okay. Oh, I was in move mode. Alright, so this hair is obviously a little way too wiggly. We're gonna go back into our secondary. And let's, let's see, um, drag force, that would be your gravity. Um, karate power, how like strong it pulls down. As you see, we can just do a little bit maybe, and maybe do a bit more stiffness. Uh, drag force. And then we can go back and test. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was a little too less drag force. The drag force is like how how much you need to pull in order to or how much you need to move in order to jiggle that part, basically. <laughs> As see it's jiggling all like a good bit less. But still quite jiggly like a jelly. <laughs> I'm gonna put this up. Um Let's try stiffness a little bit down. There we go. That's a lot more smooth. That's pretty good, actually. I think I'm quite happy with this. That hair looks pretty natural. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit more tinkering. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, that you have done your modifications, do not go outside of play button just yet copy your component because when we exit out of play mode everything that you do in play mode will get reset back to before it was in play mode so if i hit this i see the numbers i'll go back <clears throat> all you have to do is paste component values and boom your values are going to come back to what they were before There you go. Good physics. Now, that's about all you have to do. It's very simple. more, A lot more simpler than VRChat. Of course, there isn't too much, as much room as for creativity, but I mean, this is pretty good as it is. Now, export your model the same way export and we're just gonna make a new folder on college vrm finish for example whatever you want save it and we're just gonna quick cut okay now that we got our vrm finish the finished version we can now test it out. <laughs> so we're gonna open our I'm using Lopet as you see here. I have also a tutorial on the setup and it will be in the description as well if you need that. 
So we're gonna open our lappets. We're gonna go streaming assets. And as you see, these are all my models. And we're gonna um just pop this right here like so we're gonna go to character selection comfy kitty as c all right there you go her mouth movement works finger tracking works <laughs> As you see, fairly simple, easy. Her one animation for the face works. Blinking works. Mouth movement works. <laughs> Physics works. There you go, guys. I hope this was helpful. <clears throat> yeah. Everything is working perfectly fine. Okay guys, that was the end of the video. I hope you like it, give a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any other questions or you can join my discord, which will be also down below. For any other questions or just some chats and fun, you guys can follow me on uh, Twitch TV. I stream mostly games and have fun <laughs> with all of you guys. So, okay, I hope to you guys see you on the next video or my stream. So yeah, thank you everybody. Talk to you guys on my Discord or in the comments down below. Bye-bye. See you next time. <laughs>